There was a time when the inhabitants of Skara only fought for dominance. When they only bled for honor. When they only killed for vengeance. That was before Jealous Gnome pierced Selim. Before bitter colds froze the north. Before the southern lands began to burn. Before the great shaking cracked open the mountains, releasing fearsome creatures from its depths. Now, in this time of the two suns, only the blade remains. Prepare for battle. In a versus game that fits up to 16 players. Use precise combos, long-range weapons, or fatalities in a free-for-all that will be free for all. Customize your character. Establish factions. Conquer arenas. Be the first to discover new ones. But to enter your name on Skara's history books, you will have to trust your skills, not your stats. How long can you stay alive in Skara? Um, Skara is free to play, multiplayer combat game that mixes a couple of styles which is versus fighting games and also features from multiplayer games. Can we take versus fighting into multiplayer? I mean, with the same timing, accuracy and practice that you need to master a versus with 16 players. One element of Skara that is really important is that we want to put the future of the game into the hands of gamers themselves. It is amazing to see how the community of fans has grown from zero a year ago to more than 50,000 followers we have today. We decided to try and put the game in Steam. For that, we launched a green light and uh, expecting to hopefully get approval within one or two months. And the response we got from the community was amazing. Like, we were getting thousands of OKs by the community to get the game released in Steam uh, every few hours. Uh, we couldn't sleep for the first couple of days. And after only eight days, Scarra got the green light from Steam. So um, we're very, very pleased about the response and we think that this is going to create a great uh, community of fans following Scarra when the game is live. So we don't know what will happen in the future between the five cultures. Uh, it could be that the Durno uh, regain their empire. It could be that the Tambasa come down from the south and conquer all of the rest of the, of the world. It could be that the Cairn uh, destroy everyone. Uh, it could be that the Cairn destroy themselves. Uh, we put together a great team and today you can see where we are. We have a great product which we're going to put in the cells hopefully within the next few months. We're now raising money to hopefully complete the game. New production work started in 2013. We got some office space, bought the equipment, and recruited the team with money borrowed from family and friends. Today, 10 months later, we can play two different characters in two arenas and in several game modes. Our plan is to continue improving Scar. And with the $35,000 that we are looking for in Kickstarter, we will continue improving the game for our early access. So we can release our five races in five arenas plus the Colosseum, a special arena for one versus one fights and tournaments. We will use any extra proceeds from the campaign to increase the number of races available up to seven, and the number of arenas up to eleven. We will also work on new in-game features such as crafting and trading, and even a scenario editor which will allow players to create their own arenas and invite friends to play in. We also want to include a story mode for every one of the races of Skara, which will be playable both online and offline, for free.